What's going on, all you shark -a doodle doodles out there? It's I, the Bearded Shark, but you already knew that. Thank you for coming back and checking out my channel. If you haven't already, please press that subscribe button. All my current subscribers, thank you so much for being part of my family, and I appreciate you guys. All of you guys are considered my friends, and I appreciate you, all of you, for everything that you do for me. So I just wanted to get that and let you guys know firsthand. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that are here today past, future, present. Today we're gonna to be talking about a product from High Mountain Sage Company and that is called Beer Soap. So you're asking what in the name of hell is Beer Soap? I was thinking the same thing. I got it. I had two bars, I opened up one bar and I was like, hmm, well it says it's got beer in it. So I ate it thinking I was gonna get like a little buzz, but unfortunately I got diarrhea instead. Right, so <laughs> today we're going to be talking about beer soap. So you're wondering, what is beer soap? And I was like, okay, this has got to be a gimmick or anything like that. So I did a little bit of research. Apparently, it's been around for a while. I just never used it. It's made out of beer, minus the alcohol, obviously. So, you know, they brew it and everything just like um, regular beer that they make that we drink, minus the alcohol, or they extract it from the alcohol, from what I, from what I understand. So... Mainly you're getting hops in this and all the benefits of it and all that good stuff. I didn't do much research on it from what I did understand, from what I did find. It's a great moisturizer. It's a also a great acne fighting agent for your skin. And also it's supposed to stimulate hair, stimulate hair growth, but you guys know how I feel stuff about that. Um, but I can honestly say that it did a great job on cleaning my beard and making it have like a little nice sheen coating to it. And I used it on my face and on my head as well. And the great thing about it is even though it's a moisturizer, it is not a more an oily moisturizer. I have oily skin, so it didn't actually generate more oil for my like skin. It just kind of like put it in neutral. So I really like that because if I use some certain products, I'm like a coated oily person walking around. Like I can literally take a napkin and just, you know, go across my forehead and head and it'll change colors because it's um, getting all the oils out. So I really like that. I like the fact that it didn't cause my skin to get more oily. So the ingredients that you find in this beer soap are coconut oil, beer, castor oil, olive oil, lye, shea butter, avocado oil, palm oil, coconut milk, jojoba oil, water, essential oil, salt, cocoa powder, and spirulina. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure. Um, but... It says test for allergies before use and of course apply directly to wet beards. Well, why would you apply it to dry beards? This ain't no uh, Mr. Magic dry erase or anything like that, duh. I had two scents, I had the tree mint and I have the original in my hand. The tree mint is what I use and that is a very nice peppermint and vanilla scent. It's like peppermint, tea tree, vanilla and the peppermint and the tea tree are like the dominant and then the vanilla kind of smooths them out now with the um original scent that you get out of this one it's like a woodsy a uh, zesty scent so it's got like woodsy scent with a little bit of orange in there and it really feels and smells or not feels but it smells manly i really like this i really like the scent of this but if i had to choose between this and the tree mint obviously you guys know i'm a minty kind of kind of person so i'm gonna take the treatment over this but they both smell really good now one thing you don't want to do like i did is if you get you a bar you don't want to use it on your entire body because obviously it's a small bar and it's not made for your entire body you can use it but it's not going to last you long at all and if you take a look at all this sexiness right here you can tell or you can imagine that this bar did not last long on my body so i had to quit using it on my body and just focus on the beard and of course like i said i wash my face and uh, my head with it. some people tell me not to do that but i'm a rebel so i'm gonna do it anyways because i'm like if i'm washing my beard with a soap i'm gonna wash my face and i'm gonna wash my head with it so don't be a fool wrap your tool i guess i don't know but it just just popped up in my head Anywho, so you can find this on High Mountain Sage's website. It's uh, roughly about two ounces of uh, soap, and it's going for $8. To me, I think that it's kind of a little bit pricey for a two-ounce soap, but it is handmade and all that good stuff. And it says that they are collaborated with a company on there, so I'm not really sure if the owner makes this, makes this himself or he gets another company to make it and he just sells it. I didn't ask that question. I just literally saw it on the website. 
Um, but I really like this stuff. I think this stuff is definitely worth your money. I think the, the benefits I got of it or how it made my skin and beard feel, I think it did a really great job. Again, it played like a moisturizer, so it didn't feel like that. My beard or my skin was like over dried. That made it feel like healthier, stretchier. Um, it gave me this little like glow on there. So therefore, like it made my skin look healthy, in my opinion. So I definitely think that if you guys are looking for a different kind of soap for your beard, and again, you're not going to get drunk off of this. There's no alcohol, guys. You may just get diarrhea. But you may want to try out the High Mountain Sage Beard uh, Soap. I think it's really cool. I think that it's a cool concept. And I'm definitely going to keep it in my rotation. So that's something that I'll definitely keep ordering and have it on deck. I don't think that you should order just one. I think you should order like two or three and all that good stuff to get the benefits of it, guys. Because, again, it is a small little puppy right here. Small little um what do you call a small soap bar like you gotta like you gotta make a name for it so like maybe we can do like a, a soapette or something like that or a soapy junior i'm not sure but we gotta make a like a, we gotta make up a name for like a, a small bar of soap but again if you use it for your beard and you recycle it it's gonna last you a little bit longer than it lasts for me but for me it was um really really good i really enjoyed it i want to get my hands on more of it so I wanted to share this video with you guys. The owner doesn't even know I'm making this video. He literally sent me out some products and said, will you test them out for me? And I felt like that I had to share this with you guys. This isn't no paid review or anything like that because I think that you guys would really enjoy this. That's all I got for you guys today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've tried this or if you've tried any other beer soaps, Comment below and tell me what you think of them because I'm curious to know what other soaps are out there. But as far as High Mountain Sage, they got me hooked on this beer soap and I'm definitely going to keep it in my rotation. I'll see you guys on the next one. Give me a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and of course, follow me on Instagram, Official Bearded Shark, so we can communicate on there. Y'all have a wonderful weekend and of course, stay bearded and stay beard. Duh.